My name is Augusto Villalon, but you can call me Toti, as most of my friends do. I am an architect. In 2003, I went on a very memorable journey to eight of our country's most magnificent locations. These sites were inscribed by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization or UNESCO on its World Heritage List for their outstanding universal value to humanity. My journey then resulted in a landmark TV documentary which I hoped would make fellow Filipinos aware of just how rich our cultural heritage is and why it needs to be preserved as an invaluable legacy for future generations. Furthermore, I hope that by realizing the immeasurable wealth of our culture and history, Filipinos would feel a greater sense of pride in our country. Since then, however, I have felt that the story told by those places was incomplete, that our story as a people goes beyond those eight World Heritage properties. I therefore wanted to learn more, to go into our origins, to discover what makes us so unique among the nations of the world and to find our identity. In this series, I intend to visit many other places that, although not considered World Heritage Sites, speak just as eloquently about our history and who we are as a people. Most of these sites and the objects associated with them have been given due recognition by our national government because of their cultural and historical significance. These places and objects are what make up our rich cultural heritage. Right across the Rizal Monument is Kilometer Zero. This is where our journey to our country's past begins. Once again, I invite you to join me as I try to retell our history like never before through what I consider to be our real national treasures. We have a long, long uh, story that goes back far back in time, more than what ordinary Filipinos know. Well, there's an urgent need to rewrite our own history. The Philippines is in fact a treasure trove of cultural discovery. Filipino culture is the wellspring of national and global well-being.